What's up? Today we're going to be talking about ad metrics, TikTok ad metrics in particular. I'm going to be covering three kinds of problems you guys may have in your ad campaigns and using live examples of my current testing campaign and also telling you guys how to fix it. The three examples are fairly simple and common. Number one is high metrics, high CPC, high CPM, no buying intent, complete trash, right? What does that mean? You'll find out. Secondly, low metrics, low CPC, low CPM, things seem to be going great, but no add to carts, no buying intent. What does it mean? How do you fix it? You'll figure it out. Third is low metrics, low CPC, low CPM, everything's going great, and there's even a ton of add to carts, but nobody's actually buying. What does it mean? How do you fix it? You'll figure it out. Trust me. And there may be more cuts than usual in this video because I just went to the gym and hit arms. So I'm still extremely out of breath. So I apologize for that. We kind of pumped up though. Yeah, getting bigger, bulking. Anyways, let's look at my ad metrics. Here we are in the ad manager. Anyways, let's break this down. So this is a pretty standard testing campaign, right? A lot of you guys may already know exactly what you're looking at. And that is a simple three ad group abo testing setup usually it's five for this product in particular i went with three ads it was just a preference thing don't you don't think you have to you can use five if you'd like that's honestly preferred but i use three here it's a simple abo campaign there is one creative in each ad group smart creative ads are turned on with five different captions three of the captions are salesy and two are testimonial review based but that's not what you're here for right so Let's break these down individually. And this is what I mean when I say these were literally picture perfect for the three different kind of ads that you guys are going to deal with when testing or even scaling. This applies to scaling as well, even though this is just a testing campaign. So the first ad group, this one, if you couldn't tell, is the winner. I ran this for give or take two days and it spent, you know, double the daily budget twice. I'm sorry, once to spend double the daily budget. And I mean, it did extremely well, right? $100 spent, 250 clicks, 43 cent CPC, $4 CPM, 42 add to carts with 18 conversions with a $6.23 CPA. Very good. Not much needs to be said about this ad group. If you get an ad group like this, low CPC, high conversions, a lot of buying intent, you're good, right? You're good. Move it into a scaling campaign, whichever scaling campaign you may choose, whichever strategy you would like. But when we move down to the second ad, this is where it gets a little bit relatable for a lot of you. This ad just completely tanked, 36 cost. I didn't even let it spend a full day. And that is because off the rip, it started performing terribly. It ended at a $36 spend, 22 clicks, $1.65 CPC, a $10 CPM with three add to carts and one sale. Now, normally this sale would be good if it didn't happen around the $34 mark bringing our CPA to $36 and the sale at that point didn't even matter to me because if you follow kind of the linear charts in your mind of the CPC and the sales, the CPC was still going up. And even when the sale hit, it didn't drop at all. The CPC just kept going up. And I mean, it, it was, I, I kind of classified it as a lucky sale. So nonetheless, this ad group got killed, right? But what does this mean? Because a lot of you guys, and I feel like majority of you guys deal with something like this most of the time without the one conversion, right? So you have the one ad group that spends, you know, half your budget or whatever it may be, and it does absolutely terrible. Why? Well, to give you the honest answer, it can be many things. It could be your, your pixel messing up. It could be your, your ad manager. TikTok doesn't favor you, but I don't like blaming external, you know, external factors. I, I like to control the controllables. I like to control and fix what I can. And the rest is simply, you know, what can you do? So what can you control? Well, let's think about it. What are the metrics that we do not like? The spend is fine. It's supposed to spend. So don't worry about the spend right now. The CPC, the CPC is not ideal. You want to aim for less than a dollar CPC. If you want to go strict, aim for 70 cents or less. The CPC paired up with the CPA, the CPM and the conversions, it's awful. And we can probably pinpoint a lot of these factors on the CPC, the reason as to why it's doing terribly. And a lot of people without even thinking first will say, Adam, why is my CPC so high? Well, let's think about it and let's break it down. How can you fix this? Now there's always the possibility that your product is trash. In that case, just find a new product. But I don't want you to see the CPC and think, okay, well, I need to find a new product immediately because it could be saved because 
your creatives could be trash. It does not matter how good the product is if the creatives are terrible. If you cannot showcase the product and its benefits properly in a correct manner to the customer, and you could be selling pure gold. It doesn't matter, they won't buy it. So let's think about it. CPC cost per click, how much are you spending per person that's clicking on the ad? Does TikTok decide your CPC? No. Who decides your CPC? The people that are watching your ad. TikTok is feeding your ad to people, but it is the person's job to click on your ad. So why would you have a high cost per click CPC? Because people aren't clicking. Now you have to remember, I feel like a lot of people get caught up in all of these numbers and these metrics and this, this whole online computer thing. But we have to remember, it's extremely important, we're selling to real human beings with real brains and real thoughts and, you know, feelings, emotions. Hold on, stretch break. Okay, anyways, real people are watching your ads, right? Newsflash. Crazy, right? Crazy to think about. So they're scrolling past. Why? Well, because your ad is terrible. Now, obviously, for those watching, I can't reach through the screen and watch your ad on your phone, right? I don't know what's terrible about your ad, so I can't directly solve your problem, but I can list off a few that maybe you can kind of go through your ads right now and make sure are not the issues because I do coach a lot of people around 15 students right now, and I notice patterns by talking to this many people. So what do I notice? I notice that a lot of people don't have attention to detail. They get the big basis the big basic steps of creating ads down how to download the video right how to find proper videos stuff like that but they overlook the small things that really bring together the whole creative the difference between good and great comes down to things like is your text centered you're probably thinking adam well that's a basic thing well you'd be surprised you'd be surprised so double check make sure it's centered make sure it's perfect are you in the death zones the death zones being the top third of the screen and the bottom third you want to be right smack in the middle you put the text in the bottom third it's going to get covered up by the profile name the caption the like button the follow button the share button it's going to get covered up it's going to you know deem your advertisement unprofessional no matter the quality of the video and it's going to flop more likely than not the top of the screen, a lot of people don't really pay attention to this, but if you've ever used TikTok before, you will know that the For You button is at the top of the screen. And a lot of the time, people will put the text way too high and it will get blocked by that. Is your text too big? Is it barely, barely leaving any room on the sides of the screen for space? Because a lot of people don't understand that people with older phones that are watching your ads, TikTok kind of shrinks the formatting of the video and your text will be cut off. You've got to leave room all around your text it must be centered a little a top center is like the perfect not too high but in the center kind of top middle half of the screen that's the perfect zone and a lot of people make that mistake are you trying to be fancy and use some crazy weird font don't do that i'm assuming you use cap cut to edit your ads because who doesn't the default cap cut font is quite literally the perfect font for tiktok are you using the proper stroke pause for your text. Now, what I mean by this is stroke, the outline of the text. A lot of people will do some crazy stuff like black text, white stroke, white outline, and that's incorrect. If you've ever used TikTok before, you know that it is white text, black outline, and you never want to use no outline because that, you know, again, looks extremely unprofessional. But don't use some crazy wild blue text with a crazy green background to try to get their attention comes off as unprofessional. Here's a, another news flash for you. You want your TikTok ad to look like a video that came from TikTok. No suspicion. It can make you come off as extremely scammy. So formatting. Formatting is huge. This could be why your ads suck and why your CBC is really, really high. Now, obviously, there's kind of deeper things we get into, like, you know, the, the actual copy of your ad and the video quality. But again, I can't see your ad. I can't tell you how to fix your copy. If you want me to tell you how to fix your copy, join the Discord. Link in the description. Shameless plug. But just off the top of my head, those are some super, super basic, basic formatting rules that could really be messing up your ad. And that is why ad 2 performed poorly for me i think i think i didn't really have the copy or the marketing angle that i was trying to portray in my ad down and i think i got a little bit off topic with that second ad and i'm not going to leak the product so i'm not going to show you the ad yet but i will in the future but i think i seriously missed my mark on the second ad and i mean the first one i, I hit the you know i hit the nail on the head so if you have a high cpc no buying intent the ad is just completely doing terrible Perhaps run it one more day and try to fix some major errors, see if you're getting off topic, see if your formatting is messed up, really try to dial in that creative, and then the next day, if it does terrible again, 
okay? It's it's fair to say it's probably your product and you may have to move on because sometimes even the best copy cannot save a trash product. Oh, this is delicious. Yo, you guys gotta try Rainbow Sherbert Rise Energy. If you drink energy drinks, some people don't, and I respect that. But if you do, for my gym guys out there, give it a go. Next, add three. And this one is annoying. This is the one, you know, that really pisses a lot of people off. And understandable, right? So this one, same daily budget. Again, you could probably tell I ran it for one day. Why? I'll tell you why. $45 and spend 72 clicks with a 63 cent CPC. Let's stop right there. The CPC is exactly in the range that we want it to be, right? 63 cents. That's actually below the strict rule of 70 cents and it's doing fantastic. But, ooh, $15 CPM. Perhaps that's the reason that we have one add to cart and zero conversions with $45 in spend. So this is the classic, Adam, my ads are really, really good. I spent a lot of money. The CPC is really good. People are clicking on it, but nobody's buying it. This is really annoying. What's wrong with me? Am I a failure? Do my parents love me? What's going on? And this one is tricky. This one's extremely tricky because again, it's not as clear cut. It's not as precise and, and easily identifiable as the second one, right? High CPC, people don't want to click on it. Fix your creative. Easy, right? But this one, people are clicking on it. So your creatives are good, but nobody's buying. And there could be a few reasons for this. And again, I can't see your store. I can't see your website. I can't see your offer or your products. So I'm just going to kind of ballpark it. So what's going on here? Let me make my guesses. Well, let's think this through logically, okay? TikTok is showing your ad to people. That's a given. People really like your ad. They're clicking on it. In result, you have a 63 cent CPC. Makes sense, right? You guys following? Great. Low CPC, people love the ad, which means, you know, in correlation, they probably love the product. So what do they do? They go on their phone. Hold up. This is me as a customer. Oh, this is John's ad. Wow, this looks absolutely fantastic. Let me click on the website, right? But then what? But then nothing happens. Because if something did happen, these last two metrics would go up and, and they haven't. So if you haven't already kind of gotten a hold of what i'm trying to say here the main culprit is your product is killer your ads are killer you're not you're actually in a fantastic spot a lot of people lose hope when they're here but this is a pretty good spot to be in especially as a beginner because it simply means your website isn't fantastic people want to buy it they want to buy it so bad but they can't or they don't want to because you unconvince them when they click on your website your website looks scammy it's not built well enough perhaps your website looks fantastic adam I use Shrine theme and I got my website reviewed by Anthony Eclipse. I'm sure it's fantastic that I'm sure it's extremely good, but I bet you your offer is pretty bad. I bet you your offer is pretty bad and I'm going to give an example. And if you're watching this, I love you. All right. I love you and I can't wait to continue helping you out, but I'm going to use you as, as an example here because this is perfect, right? So one guy was like, Hey, Adam, literally his metrics looked almost the exact same. He was like, why is nobody buying? And I looked at his website and his product, he was selling it for $19.99 okay with $15 shipping and his website was beautiful his website I could I couldn't make a better website right it was beautiful shrine theme the whole shazam but $15 shipping for a $20 product bingo right people like the product they like the ad they click on the website they see the shipping they click off that's why that happens. The first step you should take is review your website funnel front to back. Review your offer front to back. Put yourselves in the shoes of the customer and think about if I were to click on this website, don't think about what are the good things. Inverse thing. Think about what are the bad things. Why would I click off? Make a list of those things and perhaps one will stand out to you and fix it. Change your offer around. Change your price point. This goes with, I'm going to add a little bonus, bonus metric situation here. Tons of add to carts, but zero sales. It's your back end, right? They love the front end of your website. They love the, the front end price. They love the look at the website. So they add it to the cart more times than not. Your shipping is crazy or your checkout is not optimized. You have not changed the color of the checkout buttons to match your website. Your logo is not imported separately into your checkout, drawing them away. You have to think about this logically. You're selling to real human beings and we have to keep that in mind. It's extremely important. So that would be a reason people are messing with the ad. They love it, but they don't buy or they don't add it to cart or they you know they don't they don't buy because they don't like the website something's wrong 
with the website. Now, there is a little bonus situation here, and this isn't common, but you might be saying, Adam, listen, my website looks beautiful. I got it reviewed by Michael Bernstein, Anthony Eclipse, and the Ecom King all at once. Awesome. Sure, it looks fantastic. Great. My offer is great. My offer is fantastic. They'll show me their offer and I'll be like, yeah, that is, I mean, that's a good offer. That's great. And they'll say, but listen, I'm still getting these metrics. I'm still getting these metrics. I'm lost. It, it makes no sense. And this is a rare case, but here's what could be happening if this is what you're kind of experiencing. Your product may be something that looks really, really cool on paper, or in this case, in an ad, and people think it's neat, something they've never seen before, something so cool that they're like, wow, I've never seen this before. Let me click and learn more. But it's not practical or it's not something they would actually want to use or they understand that, okay, I just clicked on this because I thought it looked cool. I've never seen it before. I'm going to click off. I don't actually need it. It's not practical. The practicality of your product. Again, not likely, but it happens. It does happen. And you do have to, you know, you have to be aware, especially if you're selling something with a huge wow factor. That's your number one leading selling point, your USP, your unique selling point is the wow factor. You have to be cautious of this because it could very well be, you know, the downfall of, of your ad manager. People love this new idea, but they're unsure about it. It's something that, you know, nobody's tried out yet. So they're cautious and they don't, you know, they're, they're questioning the practicality. In that case, if anybody has a, has a, has a, you know, incredible solution for that, let me know. But thus far, I've just tried to avoid products that have, you know, USPs, unique selling points of, of, of a wow factor is kind of the leading, the leading factor as to why I would sell it. So my main kind of strategy there has been to avoid those products, but that's kind of just like a bonus little, a bonus situation you could be in kind of out, out of breath after that one. I'm not going to lie. I wish you guys could see the unedited footage, but I don't think I like blinked once that entire time. I was just straight ranting, but yeah, now you guys know why your ads are doing what they're doing and what you should do to fix it or not fix it. If you have any questions, let me know. Join the Discord. Link in the description. Have a good night. I'm going to go to bed. See ya.